Hey guys, uh, I just started playing Fallout 4, and what I've been seeing is pretty cool. Uh, check, let me turn this down a bit so you guys can hear me. Um, it's, it's, um, I'll, I'll just show you guys. Uh, I don't know if you guys saw it. But now it's Nuka World, and my first thought is a uh, theme park because it says enjoy the ride in Nuka World. Now I'm I love games where you build theme parks and you build um, you know uh, things like that, and I think it's gonna be if because I'm I was downloading the Vault Tech uh, Workshop. And I go on add-ons, and it shows Nuka World and Contraptions Workshop, which I'm sure it's probably just like, you know, opening doors a special way or something, something like that. So I'm not too excited about Contraptions until more info is out. I don't, I haven't looked up any info about it, but uh, I need. To, I'm, I'm probably gonna look up info about Nuka World, um, and but before I look it up, I'm gonna give my thoughts on what I think it is, because it looks like it would be an amusement park called Nuka World, uh, sort of like, you know, Disney World, thing, or things like that. And if I'm going to build a theme park, then I am going to stream the hell out of this game until I build every single thing in, in that theme park, because I love building theme parks in video games. Uh, you know, Roller Coaster Tycoon, um, you know, uh, Things like that. The I think one of the games was Roller Coaster, which is called Roller Coaster on the PS2, um, where you would run the run the theme park, and that that game was fun, and I really enjoyed playing that game. But to see more games like this come out, especially in Fallout 4, to where possibilities are basically limitless um, in this game, and you know, Far Harbor was the DLC that just hit it for me. Just like, I I, I can't wait for what's next, because Far Harbor, I think, was better than the, the main story. So if you haven't if you haven't played it or bought it, check it out now. Um, but I'm going to be probably live streaming tonight, um, Vault Tech Workshop, getting to know that stuff um, and things like that. Um, if, if you guys... Uh, liked my uh x-men game boy advance video uh it was pretty dumb <laughs> uh, i gotta be honest it was kind of being quiet um because i had just woken up and i've been wanting to make a video about those games but uh you know maybe maybe i'll make a better one um in the future because basically the whole the whole thing was you know uh <laughs> the whole gimmick was that i'm in i am in Invisible X-Men, or Fiznet is an invisible X-Men that has been in all the movies, but hasn't been praised or not praised, um, not not praised, but noticed, and <laughs> and so, um, and when I said X-Men Three, uh, X-Men Last Stand, it meant like that I was in um, the worst X-Men movie in my opinion, and <laughs> that's how bad my like my character as an x-men is so <laughs> it's, it's it's pretty funny um it, i just hope I, I just wish i would have uh you know not done it when i woke up i'm probably gonna take down the video and make a better one or maybe leave that one up and uh you know compare it but yeah so i'm ex i'm excited for nuka world if it's a theme park thing if it's not i don't know what it what it is what it's gonna be I and mean, i'm really excited for it um you know, Fallout 4, it, it was boring until the DLC came out with mods and, and stuff like that. Um, it's still kind of boring because I haven't played it, like, probably since Far Harbor came out. Um, and, you know, I beat Far Harbor in, like, two days because it was so fun. Um, but, yeah, uh, check that out if you have Fallout 4 and, you know, you're kind of on edge about the DLC uh, for Fallout 4. Anyways... That's it for today. Um, just I just saw thought I'd make a video, and um, have a good day, have a good night. 
Whatever your time zone may be, don't forget to have a good life. See you guys.